to another episode of Watch Me Do Family History with Chris Knudsen. Today I'm going to be helping um, somebody in my ward uh, look at their family history. Let's get started. So today um, I want to try to resolve some family history questions. <clears throat> Here we have um, a living person and some, some parents and some grandparents, great grandparents, great great grandparents. And I am currently looking at the fan chart view and we're focusing on birth country. So here you can see uh, this person's ancestry. Um, some of it's from Norway, some of it's from Denmark, some of it's uh, from the United Kingdom, and some of them are in the United States. So let's go ahead and look uh, one generation at a time. Um, I'm going to, s to do a preference towards the United States because that's the type of research that I'm comfortable with. But let's go ahead and look at uh, Carl Eric Gunderson. And I'm going to right click on the person and open the link in a new tab so that we can leave this tab open with the fan chart. So here we have uh, Eric, Carl Eric Gunderson. Um, says here he was born in Mount Pleasant, San Pete County, Utah, um, and died in Salt Lake City, Utah. He's buried in the Ogden City Cemetery. We have some events. And we also have two marriages, one to Gertrude Martin and one to Helen Irene Bradshaw. So this marriage says that it was in Mower, Minnesota, United States. This one from Ogden, Weber, Utah. And he was born in Mount Pleasant, Utah. Uh, we have a 1900 census in San Peak, uh, in Mount Pleasant. 1920 census in Minnesota, 1930 census in Minnesota, and a 1940 census in Minnesota. So let's um, let's look at this first wife, Gertrude Martin, and I'm going to open her up in an, a new page. <clears throat> and we have seven sources with Gertrude. Uh, it says birth about 1900 in Utah. No death. So we don't have very much information about this person. She's in the 1920 census, 1930 census, 1940 census. And so if she's in this many censuses, we should be able to get a little bit more details. So let's go ahead and look at her sources. So we have a 1919 Minnesota County Marriages. So let's click on that. So here we have a Gertrude Martin with parents Philip Martin and Emma Martin. And she married Carl E. Gunderson. So let's see. And it has uh, married on 22nd of October 1919. Um, let's look at Carl Gunderson. So here we have Carl Gunderson. <coughs> and the spouse's name and the spouse's parents' names, but not the not Carl's parents' names. So let's look at the actual image.
Okay, so here we are. State of Minnesota District of uh, for the County of Mower. And we have uh, a license uh, for marriage for Carl E. Gunderson. For the County of Mower, the state of Minnesota, marrying Gertrude Martin. In the presence of Philip Martin and Emma Martin, H. Halverson and Hayfield something. So it does not have the parents of the husband, uh, of the groom, just the parents of the, the bride. Okay, let's see, let's see what else we can find. go back <clears throat> and in this 1920 census uh, we have them living in Vernon Dodge Minnesota birthplace Minnesota father's birthplace Wisconsin mother's birthplace Minnesota so we need to change that if her birthplace is actually Minnesota but this also has Carl E Gunderson's birthplace as Minnesota which doesn't make sense for our Carl E. Gunderson. Uh, World War II record in 19... Uh, 19... What, what day was this? Carl Ingvell Gunderson, 12th of December, 1895. Eighteenth of December, eighteen ninety-five. This is a different Carl E. Gunderson. So somebody accidentally merged these people together. Mother's name Annie Gunderson, spouse, uh, father's name Hans Gunderson. Annie and Hans Gunderson. So his parents were not Annie and Hans Gunderson. So we need to separate uh, this Gertrude Martin uh, away from this Carl E. G Eric Gunderson, because this is a Carl Ingval Gunderson. So we're gonna we're gonna subtract we're gonna delete this relationship. Um, so we know <coughs> we know Gertrude is a real person. It's possible uh, that there is a Carl Ingval Gunderson already on Family Search. Uh, let's see if we can. Born in in. Born in Minnesota. Let's see if we can find that person. Search by Ingval Gunderson, he's male, and birthplace Minnesota. Ninety-five. 
So here's another person that's a duplicate. Uh, Carl Eric Hansen Gunderson, Gertrude Martin, Jens and Johanna Nelson. Jens and Johanna. That's the right. That's the right parents. But still, that Gertrude Martin looks wrong. But let's let's merge this one together because this is definitely a, a a duplicate. So we have a Carl Eric Gunderson. And he's got the same parents, Jens and Johanna. So we're going to do a merge by ID. And let's clean up these records. Same birth date, same death date. Wait, merge warnings. They are the same person. WM. Well, how could they be the same person? If he's got a different middle name. That's that's pretty uh, pretty interesting. Let's go. Let's go back. So Let's create Carl Ingvall Gunderson <coughs> uh, on Gertrude Martin. So we're going to go to Gertrude Martin and we're going to create a new spouse. And we're going to call him Carl Ingvall Gunderson. And he is male and he's deceased. And we have his birth date here as 12 December 1895. And birthplace is Sergeant Mower, Minnesota. And mother is Annie Gunderson. So let's let's go to next. Possible match found. Hans G and Anna Anderson. Hans, G, and Annie. Yep, Annie. There we go. So that's the same person. So we're going <clears> to, <throat> instead of creating this new person, it's going to say, let's just create this person who already exists in the tree, which I thought we were trying to do in the first place. And we're going to add this match. So she is now married to these two curls. And if we look at, um, We look at this Carl. He has two sources. So we're gonna now we're gonna delete this relationship between Carl E. Gunderson and Carl E. Gunderson. And because she does not belong to him, but she belongs to this other Carl. And we we will add more more information to this new Carl. So I'm going to click on this pencil, that means edit, and <clears throat> we're going to remove Carl Eric Gunderson. We've reviewed the information and we're going to remove this person. Why we're we removing? It's the wrong, wrong Carl. She had a different husband. Born in Minnesota. Okay.
Okay, so now she's with the correct Carl E. Gunderson. And just so this never happens again, we're gonna give him fuller details. Let's add his birth, his true birth date. Um, since we have that as 12th of December, 1895. born in Sergeant Mower I'm going to save that and let's change his name to Ingval okay now we're gonna go back <clears throat> we've got him lined up and just out of curiosity I want to see if I'm related to this person I'm not related to that person good okay so now we're gonna go back so we've separated Gertrude Martin and we're gonna go back to the correct Carl so I'm gonna right click open this link in a new tab so now this Carl should only have one spouse, okay, and he did not ever live in the, these Minnesota censuses. So let's go ahead and un. We're gonna boy, he's got a lot of censuses. Okay, so he. Uh, he has a 1919 Minnesota County marriage record. This is not him. So we are going to detach this record from him. And the 1920 census in Minnesota, we are going to detach that. And the 1930 census record, we're going to detach that. And the 1940 census record, we're going to detach that. 1942 Utah World War II draft registration. That sounds appropriate. 1945 California County marriages. Uh, 1948. So this is the obituary of his wife, of Hannah. And then he's dead here. World War One draft registration. Let's fix that so that there's a year here so we can put that in chronological order. 1918 in San Pete County. Okay, so let's um, add 1918. That way it gets put in chronological order. We're going to hit save. <coughs> 1930 census. So let's add the date to that. attached records US Census 1940 
So let's add that as a 1940 record. So now we have a 1900, 1918, <clears throat> 1930. So let's go back to looking at details. He was married in 1955. So that can't, that doesn't sound right. Marie Bradshaw. So if we 1940 census. Let's go look at that. So let's do some searches. Let's add some more records from Family Search. Those other records were attached from somewhere else. So let's go to Collections. We're going to see if we can see him in the 1940 census. Okay, so he's still listed as single here. His mom is Hannah, born in Denmark. And then these are some other siblings. So let's go ahead and attach that. Francis Gunderson, born in 1906, which is oh, let's see if we have let's let's make the the main person Johanna. And let's look at Nels Nelson. There we go. So Frances Gunderson was one of the children that she had with a previous, another husband. So we're gonna click on a later husband maybe, since these people are younger. So we're gonna attach these. Stella Denise Nelson I think that's probably the same as Bernice. Bernice. Let's look at the record again. Bernice, born in Utah, about 1830. Where's the 1849 census? So let's look at Stella Denise Nelson. I'm going to open her up. Let's look at her sources. De Denise, Denise, Denise. Is it possible she was just miswritten on the census record as Bernice instead of Denise? Let's look at the image. So we're going to click on the image. We're going to look at the actual census record. And we're looking for Gundersons. We have Carl Gunderson, Hannah Gunderson, Francis, Elba. Uh, it looks like looks like Bernie's to me. She would have been thirty years old at the time in the nineteen forty census. So let's see where she is in the nineteen thirty census.
that didn't work. Okay, let's go back. Let's open that up again. That page no longer exists. Well, that's not very good. That's fine. I think they just, the census taker just got confused and put Bernice instead of Denise. Because she's a sister and there's no other sisters listed in the family. So we're going to, instead of creating a whole new person that shouldn't exist, let's go ahead and put her there. Plus, if you notice, all these other birth dates were wrong. 1908, 1906, 1910, 1908. So it's two years off for the above sister. So we'll go ahead and click on that. There we go. Okay, so now we have, um, let's go ahead and get rid of these. So we have Carl Eric Gunderson in this 1940 census. Let's go ahead and go back and let's update. Let's do refresh so now he's got 30 census right or 30 sources we have him being born dying and somebody attached the census record from his dad I don't know if that was what their goal was but he, he's only got one spouse now and doesn't have this doesn't have any information on it so we're going to delete delete it and he was he wasn't in Minnesota so we're going to delete that these got added when they added the census records from the wrong guy Okay, so we've got 1900, Mount Pleasant. San Pete County, Salt Lake City. Salt Lake, military draft. Okay. That looks good. Okay, let's call that good for today. Um, thank you for watching. And if you liked this video, please click the like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, you can go to my YouTube channel, Watch Me Do Family History, where there are several other family history videos that you can watch. Thank you and have a good day.